Welcome to Greece! Okay guys, another episode of uh, my Greek holiday. Um, let's go look at the breakfast. Here we got the bread, cakes, cookies, then we got the potatoes, capsicums, um, cucumbers, and then we have some cereal here. Then here we got a crazy large amount of jam and, you know, spreads. We got juice, drinks down here. Then here we got uh, some more. Juice, then over here we got Greek yogurt and some pain of gold. Spreads, spreads, um, yeah. There's some pies here. So it's croissants, you can put it. We got boiled eggs, then we got some omelette with bacon, sausages. Then over here we got cheese, fried cheese, and our hams. Then over here we got some uh, apple pie, okay. Then we got some tea, 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 coffee, yeah, it's pretty nice. Alright guys, we've just checked out the hotel and then the reception gave us a, a, um, a free fridge magnet. Pretty cool. Need the most hotel, address, telephone, um, uh, let's see, email, yeah, you know, all that stuff. Pretty nice of them. Well, uh, thank you for having, for having me here, that's pretty nice. Uh, let's go check out something else. Oh my guys, so this is the archaeological museum of, um, you know, it's just right next to the Temple of Apollo, so I guess, archaeological museum of Delphi. Oh, it's a pretty big complex. Uh, let's go inside. So, apparently most of this stuff has been from the Holy War. As you can see, this parts of Apollo Temple, down there some shields. And there's a sign here that's, uh, that's from uh, the last oracle of Delphi to the Emperor Julian the Apostate. Tell the king. The fair built hall has fallen. Apollo now has no house or oracular laurel or prophetic spring. The water is silent. This is talking about how this place has fallen. Oh, wow guys, so this is the one they say is supposed to be uh, the temple of Apollo last time. As you can see we got all the treasuries, the statues, then up this temple of Apollo, some statue of Sphinx, and then there's a stadium, theater, you know, all that stuff up there. Pretty nice. I don't need that, but they got all the things here, like statues, and apparently, like, this is some sort of cauldron or tripod, on some tripod leaks. You can see, that was the origin. That was the original picture, and then that's all the stuff they had on there. So, this is apparently one of the dragon fit things, something like that, apparently. The dragon? Not sure. Alright, so this here is from the treasure of the Sifkins. You saw it yesterday. This is some parts of the frame, the columns, pretty nice as well. Then over here we got some more statues from the treasury. Then over here is a, apparently a, it's a siren. Actually no, it's a sphinx. You know, women, there's a wings. Is it lion body, right? Yeah, so, so it's a sphinx. So it was on top of the column we saw yesterday. It had no like top, so this is apparently the top. They just put it in the museum, pretty nice. Okay guys, what you see here is uh, pediments and freezes of the treasury. The top one is the pediment, the bottom one is the freeze, the blocky ones. They have all sorts of ones like this, this one's about the war. Mm, this one's about the gods, pretty nice. In this room you can see things like curry and kuro. And this side we have um, um, some freezes from the Sikonian uh, treasury. And the two doors, left and right. Pretty nice. We're gonna go to the right first. Whoa, look at this treasure. It's this gold from some uh, parts of statues. Then over there, as you can see, this is a silver bowl. It's so huge. Isn't that crazy? I thought it was bronze at first, but then I saw the sign that said silver. This must be very expensive. This here are all the pediments of uh, the um, 
out of the pediments of the Temple of Apollo. They're pretty big actually. This is the east pediment, as you can see, it's all cracked out and broken. Then this here is the original one, as you can see, you got cows, some statues, horses. Pretty nice. Wow, someone made a huge model of the entire place. As you can see, there's the, there's the stadium, the theater, the, you know, temple, there's the treasuries. Pretty cool. These here are stories from the, from the um, blocks. These are about Heracles and Theseus and their battles and stuff. Pretty cool. So this one is from the Temple of Athena that was down there. Pretty a lot of things. Okay guys, so this here, this entire room is about the Tolos. A round structure uh, that is somehow important. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. As you can see the columns bits and pieces of the roof, some statues that they found, it's pretty nice. So these three here are some pretty interesting things, the series the cousins. Um, these three, like, I don't know, pieces are apparently from the dancer, the column of the dancers. Let's get this the bottom part. There's the top, in other words, the capital. That's the dancers. And that's supposed to be a roof housing the dancers, pretty nice. Among the wreckage they found were like, these statues. They were apparently supposed to be philosophers. Um, they found it in like, the ruins, I guess, when they excavated it. They look pretty big. This is the most complete one. So these here are some offerings, like this is the votive offering of Romanus Paulus. It's pretty cool. You know, this side we have some, uh, the theatre frieze, you know, the big one. There's the frieze of it. Pretty cool. Let's go to the next room. So this is here is one of the most preserved statues, bronze statues in the world. As you can see this is the chariot, that's this horses, pretty cool. Um, as you can see it's very detailed and not extremely broken like other statues, as you can see, because it was buried underground, so it was not looted, destroyed, or anything, it was just preserved, pretty cool. So this here is uh, the head of Hercules, pretty cool. And we're in the last room of the Italian museum, as you can see, there are some pretty small statues. Then over here next to me is a panel looking at some of the buildings they had there in Temple of Apollo. Show some one of the buildings that. What do you want to see? Mm, how about the Temple of Apollo? Oh, the Agora. Oh, so it's, uh, it also tells you information. Not only that, and you can also see what it looks like today and last time. Pretty cool. While looking through the map, we decided to look at this part, the, um, the area in the Temple of Athena. As you can see, that's the Tolos, the treasury. And then that one over there is the altars in the sanctuary of Athena Pranaya. A series of small altars in the eastern end of the sanctuary attest to the worship of Zeus, Athena Ergeni, Athena Zosteria, Aletheia, goddess of birth giving, and Hygieia. So there's a lot of Greek gods in that one little tiny area over there. It's pretty cool, there's not much left of it though. So there are no pictures of it. Pretty bad. So, so this area here is the, um, the little cafe and the museum shop. So um, yeah, pretty cool. It's also where the toilets are located, if you're wondering. Alright guys, that's all we can see of uh, Delphi. And now we're, yeah, now we're heading for somewhere else. You'll see in a minute. Um, so um, Delphi is actually pretty interesting. Maybe all very underground, but thanks to some many, very amazing people, they excavated it and that's what we can see today. Um, so now, okay, pretty cool place, very small, easy to get around, it's not necessary to get a car, but if you want, sure. Um, pretty nice place, I guess. Um, let's go look at our new this next destination, I guess.
so this here is just a ton of uh, olive trees. As you can see the top is all white, the bottom is all dark. So um, this proves this is an olive tree. Pretty cool. Oh, wow, look. Matos. So uh, we're on our way to Naf Pactos. Lead the way, Daddy. Guys, we're driving up and we would like riding the car and oh my god, I we hear goats. Ah, little goats. So that's such a long line, no one's taking care of them. They're going by themselves, I don't see any owner or anything. Since you can see one of the longest bridge in uh, where that Greece, Greece or Europe? Uh, in Europe, okay. Um, it's so called the it's called the Patras Bridge. The Patras the Patras Bridge. All right. We're gonna cross it. Later. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, we're now we're driving through the town of that Nafpaktos. Nafpaktos. All right. So. Um, um, the bridge will be coming up soon, so you'll be uh, seeing that in a minute. But right now, we're gonna have to go through enough Pactos first. If you didn't know, uh, Naf Pactos is actually famous for its Venetian castles. Let's look around. Now, we're just gonna be driving up here. Okay, there's a few cafes at the bottom here. I see that. Castello. Continue driving up. Up. So, 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 if you weren't for the bridge, we have to drive all the way around, which would be very hard. Yeah, where does it go? Uh, to uh, the other side, the Peloponnesian uh, region over there. Okay. You can see. And uh, yeah, let's continue our trip up the mountain. Yeah. Okay, guys, now you can see the Venetian castle wall. And yeah, we're going to be parking here and we'll be going inside. Alright, guys, so um, yeah, that's how we're going to get in uh, through this uh, little gate. Then walking through a few more gates, you can see this area. 
see from here. It is pretty cool. It's a ticket booth, I guess. Yeah. Let's walk up. Okay, guys. Then down there is um. Before we go up, let's uh, look at this part. This is um. Some sort of another sort of uh, part of the wall, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can walk down there, look at the amazing view. But we'll see that later. While walking up, we can admire these walls and the trees and the path and all the old stuff that was here. Pretty cool. Okay, guys. Well, um, so since we reached the top, we're gonna go to that little tiny gate. But yeah, we can also go like through the wall. Pretty cool. Let's go. Okay, now we're just walking through the. Um, we just walked through the little gate. And right now we're just gonna continue climbing up. You can either go this way or that way from here. So we'll be going straight first. Okay, guys. Um, let's get you just now over there. There's a staircase from here. And now we can see. If you can walk along the walls, you can see the sea, see everything. Pretty cool. You can see the town. Pretty nice. After walking on the castle wall, you can just continue walking up these staircases down here. You can see this building, but it's kind of close. We can't see inside. So let's continue walking this way. Okay, after walking, you might see this like, uh, building here. It's apparently a church. And this end of here, I don't know what it is, but it's some sort of building. Okay, continue for one meter and you can see this one area. You can see the walls and view. Then behind me is some sort of a... Uh, Water fountain, and of course, like the other buildings, it's uh not functional. So um, yeah, we're just gonna continue walking until we see something that may interest us. Continue walking, you can see this area. You can see the walls and all these type of things, like walls and walls. Okay, once you walk through that um, gate over here, you come on into this like more fortified area. As you can see, right now we're standing on top of the wall. It's Pretty okay. You can see a nice view later on. You can see this. Pretty okay. And after that, continue walking around the around the wall. You can see this like shade of bricks for some reason. Let's go look at one of the scenes. Okay, guys. Uh, from here is a pretty decent view. You can see you can see the bridge. You can see the Polynesian uh, region. You can see the town and stuff. But the thing is, if you're a short child like me, you're bound to see this wall in front of you. Well, there's really nothing much to see up here, really. You can only see this like shaded bricks, which I guess are kind of old, probably ancient. Very nice, I guess. Oh, let's go back to the entrance and leave. Okay, before that, um, we're gonna see this bottom part, which is not really up there. We're gonna see this part now. As you can see inside here, is some sort of cell door. This one's kind of overgrown. Let's look at the other one. This one you can see more stuff, but apparently some sort of well or drain or room or something. They don't state what it is. So this place over here seems pretty nice. It's pretty cooling since it's inside. It's an like exhibition room. So you can just read all about this castle. And in the next room we have nothing. Just absolutely nothing. This is probably some sort of theater last time, but who knows. Um, I guess it's really all to see. Okay guys, we reached out the gate. Now we're actually, we can actually walk through the wall now. See the amazing view actually now. Pretty nice, okay? Okay, while we're walking through, we can actually see through the wall, as you can see. See the bridge, the town. It's pretty cool. Well, um, the stairs are very, very, very steep. So, um, sorry about that. Um, well, uh, looks like we have to go down the other way. Okay guys, we have actually made it now. As you can see, we've made it down here. Well, we didn't have to take the stairs back. Uh, sorry about that. So now, you can actually look through here and have a nice echo while you talk. You can see the bridge, you can see the ocean, you can see the beach. And you can also see the town. I see a school there. Pretty nice. Alright, um, let's go. Well, um, the height here is actually pretty good, so you can see all around. Pretty beautiful, you can also see that. I think the most important thing you see is the fort. The bay? Well, uh, let's go. Are we gonna go down there? Alright, well, let's go down there. Alright, you can see the harbor, all the fortress. You can see from up here, it's pretty nice. The ocean is actually pretty blue today. Well, I kind of like this place.
Mm -hmm. oh, okay, very nice view. I like it. Okay, guys, um, we're well, just driving down and we can still see the fortress from here. That's pretty nice. Okay, so at the bottom of the hill, you can see the cemetery. Um, as you can see, like, they don't actually bury them. They just put them on top and cover it. So these are tombs or, um, yeah, crypts. And, yeah, because the round is, like, so, like, hard as rock, which is literally rock. So they had to just put them on the top. Alright, so, um, I thought it's turning to here to see the sea. Yay, you see the sea. Oh, the tents on for sunbathing. Wow, look at all these tents. Wow. Oh, no, it's for eating. Oh. No, down there is for swimming. Oh, Whoa. Swimming. Let's go swimming. I think today is perfect day for the ocean. Well, we shower. Well, we can't stop. It's a public one, no? Mm. Mm. Oh, God. The people can't clean the beach one, no? See? Um, the tractor. I don't know what it's doing. I think this the water part in front. This is the gravelly side. It's not sand here, it's just gravel yeah, now. Gravel. Yeah, it's kind of a pain. So we're just gonna be like driving along the beach. It's pretty nice. It's just beaches all all the way. Oh yeah, showers in like one meet like I don't know, ten meters away from each other. Yeah. Pretty cool. We're about to take the bridge. All right. We take By the Pacha Bridge. Ionina Patra. Let's go. Patra. Yeah. Let's go to Patra. The, we're gonna be uh, taking this bridge over to the Peloponnesian side. So yeah. Let's go. All right, guys. We're gonna be taking the bridge in a few. Maybe just one minute. Let's go. Wow, look at that. Wow, look at the bridge. Wow, I can just see it coming up. Betona. Yeah, we also have to take a toll. We also have to pay a toll. Just to go to first. Yeah. You have to pay money to get to go across this bridge, so um, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look, um, instead of cones, they put uh, buoys. It's pretty cool. Huh? Okay, guys, we're gonna go through now. We just had to pay. You can see here, we had to pay someone. And then they open the tow booth gate. Yay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yay, we can go across the Pacha Bridge. Oh, last time you used ferry, look. Oh, you can also use the ferry too. Look, we're there. Oh, okay, we're gonna go across the bridge. Seems to be some uh, construction going on here. Pacha Bridge. Pacha Bridge, that's for short. Yeah, and we are crossing the. We're gonna cross uh, the ocean. The name? What is the name, Dad? Uh, we are crossing the Corinthian Bay. Look, 
It's also something nice there. Yeah? The Corinthian Bay is like a fortress. Yeah, so of course. The Peloponnese. The Oh wow, this bridge is high up. Whoa. Very modern, eh? Built by the hill. Built so by the hill. Yeah, there's a highway here that goes to Ionina. Alright. Uh, into Albania. It comes down here, it crosses the bridge, and then they just built the new Patra Highway. Mm. The left comes out near uh, Napio and connects the old highway back into Athens. Wow, that's so pretty cool. When, they, when the EU plan the, the route, they really make sure all the highways are linked. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So now we're going to be crossing this bridge. Yep. We have the bridge here to drive one whole big round around the Korean. Oh, yeah, that would yeah. be pretty bad. And yeah, that's the Iona Sea. If you go straight across the way, you see, that's Italy. Italy? To the west? So now we're going to the Pacha Highway, right? Yes, if you're going to Athena, you take the Patra Highway or Veto. Alright. On the other hand, I'm going on the E55. E55. Olympia. Olympia, very nice. It's pretty new. Oh, we've crossed the bridge. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, not many people can do that. I did it though. That's pretty nice. So now we're just going to be driving along and I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, you see the tunnel up ahead? Um, yeah, we're going to um, just... Yeah, we're going to go into that tunnel and then you'll see inside my camera. Okay, we're still going. Just 190 meter on this short one. Uh, uh, underneath this thing. Whoa! Lights! Lights. Wow. Okay, we're going to another tunnel apparently. And um, a second tunnel. Wow. 650 meters. That's a long one. Okay. It's Vavara. Vavara. Yeah, the bridge is spelled Vavara. <laughs> okay, guys, let's speed up the process of going through this tunnel. Oh, another tunnel. I wonder how long this one's gonna be. And 210 meters. I wonder how much you're gonna charge us to use the three tunnels. Or more. It's more tunnels. Okay, guys. There's a fourth tunnel apparently. I can see it. And uh, you guys can see in a few seconds. Alright, we're out in open again. Hooray, hooray. Oh, it's actually a pretty good view. Cut through the mountains as well. All right, we're gonna go to the fourth tunnel, which is 190 meters. These tunnels are quite short. Yes, yes, uh, I think this is the last one. Hopefully. Okay, guys, and we're in the tunnel. We. I oh, think. It's the last one, guys, is asking us to turn off our lights. All right, so that was the last tunnel. Very, very nice. I'll see you guys later. Haha, <laughs> prank to you, false alarm, there's another tunnel. Well, hmm, okay. I wonder how long this tunnel's gonna be. Well, turn on your, head, your, your headlights, Dad. Alright. Okay, let's go, let's go. 450 meters, this is gonna be quite long. Because there's a ruin on top. Alright, oh, ruins? Yeah, so there's a view under it. Ah, pretty smart. If you guys are wondering why they're like these turbines, well, it's because like um, you know how cars go through it every day, so they have to get that um, all those fumes out of there, so they have to get ventilation, push it all out, and we're through again. Yay! No more tunnels. Pranked! There's another tunnel. This is, I believe, the sixth tunnel. 
Yeah, this is six tunnel. Um, it's okay. Let's go through it. This one's going to be um eight hundred and um forty meters. So um. um yep. And plus the right lane's closed, so um. Yeah, it's going to be quite slow. Uh, let's speed up the process. guys I think we just traveled two kilometers something like that and um, no tunnels from here yay but still um, security cameras but we can go at quite a high speed like from 80 to 100 so um, we're okay we're just driving and driving and driving what's the car doing it's like using both lanes well guys we're in Greece so um, you can see this type of stuff they use the emergency lane like it's an actual lane. Look at the grease. A cantina? I don't see a cantina. Maybe he just got rich enough to get an actual restaurant. That's good say. Oh wow guys, look. The cantina's in here. That's pretty cool. Inside this tent. Ah, I see. Wow, it's a very nice shade in here. So basically here you order your food, you take your drink and then you come round to here and then you just sit down, find a place. Then over here we have a nice ocean view. Oh yes. We've already ordered our drink. We have Coca-Cola and Fanta Orange. Very nice. Don't you think that? <laughs> okay, so you see here they actually uh, cook this outdoors. It's actually very nice uh, cooking some uh, soup lucky. So this here is um, souvlaki. We got some souvlaki sticks here. We got some French fries, and then the butter we got bread in case you want to actually make souvlaki. So I'm um, very nice. Let's eat. Okay, guys, uh, we're back on the road again, and we're on our way to that Olympia. Olympia. Okay, guys. So um, um. Because if you can see a few of these like white color tents, well, um, because this entire place is all plains, and so they decided, okay, let's do some farming here, and so they set up these uh, tent thingies to um, grow stuff like um, corn, watermelons, pumpkins. pumpkins. Yeah, pumpkins for sure. Not garlic. Okay. Wow, here goes. So okay, guys. As you can see just now, we had we have seen a lot of farmland, and look over here, some stalls. Selling pumpkins. A lot of them. We're in Olympia. Oh, look, oh. oh look, Olympia. You can see one of the very first places they... No, a sign. Olympia. We're here. We... Um, the Olympia. birthplace of the... Olympics. Olympic Games. Yeah. I mean, of the ancient Olympic Games. I mean, they never actually had... Uh, yeah, modern Olympic games here. We can still see the stadium that they play, the Olympic tracks. Torch. Oh yes, yes, right. all those things. Right. Yeah, pretty cool. But we're gonna go into a, we're gonna find a hotel first, and I'll see you guys later. All right, guys, this is Hotel Europa. This is hotel. Let's go. Wow, that's a very nice looking reception. And the reception is this nice. I wonder how nice the room is. Well, guys, I just checked out this room. It's pretty cool. As you can see, we got an aircon. Oh, wow, that's a huge bed. And there's some lights. Very nice lighting in here, as you can see. And down here is the best part, as you can see. Oh, my step. Um, here's the TV. And there's the dressing table. That's the couch. And there's my bed. Pretty cool, eh? It's right in front of the TV. Wow, the view is here is amazing. You can see the pool. There's a hotel on the other side. Actually, our pool, our hotel is actually on the other side. Uh, the main one's there, but there's a side one here, and we'll stay in that one. And um, yeah, there's a chair. It's pretty nice. Then here's the bedroom. We got the uh, sink. We got the toilet. And then over here, it's our bathtub. For me, I don't know. Uh, it's very nice.
here we are guys ancient olympia okay so um, basically it's a panel of uh, things to see and stuff to see and yeah over there's also a map as you can clearly see yep. i'm gonna go see this one okay. uh, the archaeological site let's go okay guys um as you can see here this is a bridge across the bridge is um the ticket booth let's go daddy Look over here, it's the ticket booth. So um, yeah, we can buy tickets here. Let's go look at the archaeological site. Okay guys, so this is the archaeological site of Olympia map, as you can see. This is the sanctuary of Olympia, so it's, uh, it's barely on the slope of the Kronos Hill. Um, it's at the Airfields River, and you know, it's all that stuff. It's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, but for some reason it's like not near that like the actual place. It's somewhere far away. I don't know why. And yeah, it could be the priest house, baths, hotels, gymnasium. Who knows? It's pretty cool. You know what's also cool? It's protected by UNESCO World Heritage. Pretty nice. Wow, guys, look! This is the archaeological site of Olympia. Wow, this place looks cool. Whoa, this area is big. Apparently this is a gymnasium. It's a, you can practice your foot race, javelin throwing, and discus throwing. It's pretty big. This is what it's supposed to be looked like last time. Here too, you can also see what it looked like last time. Well, this looks pretty cool. Not sure what it is, but um, yeah, I hope we find out. Maybe some sort of panel, I guess. So this circular um, building over here is... Um, Okay guys, so this here is um, the called the Philippian. It's supposed to be a tribute to um, basically all the dynasties of the kings. Macedonian kings. Macedonian kings. Well, it looks pretty okay. It's pretty big. So this here is the Palestra. It's basically this huge area for um, putting your oil, your powder, making you look good and, I don't know, muscly. And there's also a bath place. Um, basically, you can practice wrestling, boxing, and jumping. Philosophers, orators, and uh, poets like to um, lecture and give out their ideas here. It's pretty nice. So this is a huge place to practice your stuff. Um, it's actually pretty huge. Yeah, I like big, big wow. Alright guys, so this here is um, apparently the baths. So uh, the, before their game, they have to shower up in cold water and stuff. If you can listen uh, closely, if you weren't for that bird, you can actually hear the stream. Uh, they will actually take bath in that stream. Well, I kind of hear it, but the birds kind of ruined the audio for the camera, so I'm pretty sorry about that. Guys, this here is the bath house. It's pretty cool. People just bath here. And in the background, you can hear the the Cladius River just uh, flowing and flowing, and that's where they will take the bath. Listen carefully. Other than the river, you can also see this a uh, very intact mosaic floor. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay guys, so um, over here is a workshop, which was once later changed into a church. Let's look around. Okay, that's the workshop, I believe. Let me walk through here. You can see parts of the church. Very, very intact. Look at the detail. It's pretty cool. Plus, you can tell this from a new era because they use like different materials like bricks and uh, you know, that stuff. If you look at the walls over here, you can also see shells in it. It's pretty cool. Alright guys, so this here is the... Mom, could you repeat that? I really couldn't get it. The Leona Loni Dion with the clover-shaped water garden accommodating distinguished guests. That must mean um, it housed the guests who wanted to watch the Olympics. Like these ones around there must be like some sort of hostel, I guess. Then in the middle, as you can see, is like a huge garden. Then the holes like around there is probably the water feature they had. That's, that's actually pretty nice. It's quite huge. Okay guys, so that over there is apparently a old store. Pretty cool. 
Oh, we're actually pretty lucky today. The archaeologists, archaeologists here. As you can see, here's the clover shaped garden. You can see the curves here. You can see like this huge moat, which is apparently a uh, water feature. Pretty nice. So this entire place over here is apparently the store. As you can see, they accommodate a row of shops that you can buy your stuff from. So yeah, guys. Um, we're not sure what this place is. Um, I guess it's just some buildings over here. Um, archaeologists over there, as you can see just now. So that means um, this place probably isn't finished um, uh, exploring, so there's probably more to see. But as you can see, we don't know what it is. Apparently, this is the South Portico. It is um, unknown what its uh, purpose is. Um, because this part over here, where I'm standing, it's uh, unexplored. They just uh, set markers to make sure tourists don't mess it all up. So it means on the other side, maybe the northwest, um, is actually um, all completed. So there are actual panels to identify, to tell the tourists like, yeah, hey, this is this and that is that. But on this side, it's a, uh, yeah, they're still doing that. So let's go check out somewhere else. This place here is the Boletarian or the council house was the seat of the Olympic, Olympic Sen Senate. Wow, so this place must be pretty important. So this huge like um, column over here um, actually holds up this huge statue of Nike, the god of victory. This, my friend, do you know what this is, my friend? Well, this is the Temple of Zeus. This place was so huge and yeah, it, it was basically made of so many things. You can see all the rubble around me. And that's basically all that remains. Just broken columns. Hmm. I want to see more of it though. It looks cool and big. Okay, so this here is the octagon. It's basically a building uh, made for Emperor Nero when he participated in the games. This here is the octagon, the actual part. Um, inside, if you look from top down, it's actually octo it's octagonal shape. Well, just now I show you those like ruined thingies back there. That was also part of his house, but I'm pretty sure the one Doctor Gone is the main one. This one is called the Echo Portico or Haptacos. And basically, if you shout or say anything, uh, your voice will be repeated seven times because you know the echo. It's it, the acoustics in here are crazy. Okay guys, so this column over here had a statue on the top um, with yeah, it's basically a huge nice statue thing. Guys, this is the entrance to the stadium. Let's go. Wow, this place is huge! Wow! But people have to sit on the ground though. The VIPs can sit on chairs. <laughs> I I lost all the saga nakgi. Yay! I won number two. I won number one because there was no other competitor. Wait, you, you should get number two. You were in the race. Oh no! What are you doing? Get out of here. Disqualified. Get out of here. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. I'm the winner of the last Olympic Games. Yay!
this here, guys, are the cent are the treasuries. Um, there are supposed to be twelve um treasuries here, but only five are identified. In other words, Sekion, Selenus, um, Metapontion, Megara, and Gela. Wow, people from all around just decided to be like, I want to watch some people run. It'll be a good idea, which I totally agree with them. This place is just pretty nice. I guess this is where they put all their betting money. <laughs> Apparently this is supposed to be a meat rune. Um, it's supposed to be like some sort of a cult place for emperors of the Roman emperors. You know, pretty nice. But that's not the left. Okay guys, so this here is apparently a monumental fountain. Um, it was an aqueduct donated by Herodes, Atticus and his wife Regula to the sanctuary. It's pretty big. And there were apparently like um, a ton of uh, statues of the emperors and members of the family. Pretty big. This is actually a very special spot. A mark that the Olympic Games is about to start, or has started. And it's basically, uh, you know the torch people light up? Yep, this is where they light it up. They just dip it inside here and then, there you go, the torch. And this is what it would look like. So you can see. Yeah, this place is called Hera's Altar. So it's pretty cool, they like, you know, dip in fire and then, whoosh, fire, and then they bring it to the place and dump the fire in there. This here is the Temple of Hera. This is one of the oldest buildings in the sanctuary. It's basically where they kept the disc of the sacred truce. The disc of the sacred truce. Yeah, you heard me right. Um, yeah, so basically when you compete in Olympic Games, you have to like swear that you have to be a good sportsman. And this is the disc of the sacred truce, like, the truth, yeah, you can't fight, you can't uh, cheat or anything, you just have to play fairly. So, um, yeah, that's why it was kept. Pretty cool. Temple of Hera. Bye, Olympia. That was all to see of you. Now we're gonna check out the museum. Alright, you guys, uh, here's the museum. So, this is the archaeological museum of, um, of uh, Olympia. It looks pretty cool. You can see a lot of the bases. There's even a map there of the archaeological site. As you can see here, these are some bronze Assyrian sheets. Well, yeah, it's pretty big, pretty huge. So this here is the altar of Zeus. And as you can see over there. Okay, so this here is the, like, some sort of altar of Zeus. It was supposed to be inside of there. You were supposed to see it, but you know, that stuff breaks apart. And yeah, apparently this is all found here. All these animal figurines and stuff. Wow, they love toys. Okay, so this here is um, it's a bronze female wing figure. They're not actually sure what it is because it isn't hold. It could be either um, a divine or demonic being, Artemis, Nike, or a sphinx. If you ask me, it's probably a siren or something. Who knows? But it's more likely to be a sphinx, honestly. Hey, didn't we see this today? Apparently this year was supposed to crown the top of the Temple of Hera. Let's look at it over here. As you can see, this is the Temple of Hera. And that's the, this thingy at the top. Pretty big. And also, did you know the Temple of Hera actually, um, they actually got the olive oil wreaths um, to like crown the victors. And, you know, has also kept the sacred truths. Wow. The, this is actually like a terracotta. Let's go to the front. This is the back. This is for what people see if they were from the back. From the front, this is what it would look like. Pretty big. This um, pediment is from the treasury of Megarines. It is, um, yeah, you saw just now the five out of twelve statues that were, you know, found. And this over here is a pediment from the workshop. You know, the one that got turned into a church. Yeah, that one. This here is like the the lion that spouted out water from the fountain. It's pretty big. Remember that huge triangular column? This is Nike, the god of victory. She stood, she once stood on top of that statue. Holy crap, guys, look over here. This is all the pediments and pieces and friezes of the, of the Temple of Zeus. Wow, this is huge. It's also well preserved. Well, people are not supposed to loot this place because you know, the truce, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, everyone's peaceful. So that's why everything is still here. Almost everything, you know, time decided to be like, ah, forget about the truth. 
So this place is apparently this part of the pediment is apparently supposed to be um uh, a battle between Lapis and Centaur. They both really hate each other. Really, really hate. In the middle is Apollo, the good guy obviously. I don't know what he's doing, he's judging the victor, I don't know. So this here is the East Pediment of the Temple of Zeus, the chariot race of Pelops and Oinimus. Let me tell you the story. So basically there was this guy named Oinimus who had these invincible horses. Um, actually, no, let's start from the start. The horse race, okay. The winner would live and other people would die. So um, yeah. And this guy named Oinimus had these god um, horses given by Ares. Um, you know, that god. And they're basically invincible. They kept on winning and, you know, everyone else died and died and died. And then there was um, this other guy. And then there was this guy named Pelops, um, whose horses could um, defeat um, Oinemus because, you know, his horses are somehow better because they were given by Poseidon, the god of horses. He won and he lived and, you know, he is the winner. Hooray. Here's an interesting story also. There was this guy named Phidias. Um, he liked to sculpt things and he was literally one of the best sculptors ever. So then this is his workshop, the one that turned into a church. And then made, uh, he made this one, uh, the Statue of Zeus. It's pretty big. I mean, this is just a paint thing. I, I don't know where the actual statue is. This here is the Statue of Hermes, the Messenger of God. As you can see, um, he's holding an infant dinosaur. And in his other arm, he has um, probably a bunch of grapes. And uh, little dinosaurs wants to reach out for it because he's the future god of wine. So um, guys, this here, uh, remember that monumental fountain just now? These statues were found there. The emperor's family and the emperor's. And there's also this car for some reason. Sorry for the crying baby. Okay, so over here we have uh, Emperor Hadrian. The most complete statue in here. It's maybe from the bowl, but he's the most complete statue. He looks pretty good. So this here I found from the Temple of Hera, as you can see here, yeah, very perfect. These statues are so flawless. This one is the second wife of Emperor Nero. Look at this dapper strapping man. This is Emperor Claudius, I mean not Titus. This is the Emperor Titus, looks pretty nice. Okay guys, so here's the map. Let me tell you the mo two of the biggest ones here. This one is the, the Temple of Zeus. And I believe, yeah, that one over there with the this thingy on top is the Temple of Hera. Sorry for the bad quality. They put it through class. This is the Temple of Hera. It's okay, so that's uh, two of the biggest. And there's two other things though. Those ones over there are the treasury, those small little huts. There's the fountain over there. And that one over there is the like the seven echo building echo. Then we have all the gymnasiums and stuff. Pretty nice. Then the biggest one of all. This one is the stadium, the place where I ran. This was um this was the place when they first found it. What a mess. Oh my god, why did they have this goat out here? Like we were leaving the museum and we found this Goat tied to a tree trunk. Yeah. Uh, what's he doing here? So sad. 
Guys, this here is the Archimedes Museum. So basically, this is talking about the famous inventor Archimedes. And yeah. He inspired the Da Vinci. Okay. He inspired Da Vinci, Galileo, and Newton. He invented so many things. And this, mu this museum is also interactive, so you can play with all this stuff, you know. I'm sorry I can't bring you in. Uh, apparently, no photos, no videos. Ah. Since you guys couldn't see inside, we just have to look at this huge poster outside. Um, these are all the components of the car. I can mainly make more of these. So this here is just a hydraulic clock. Um, it actually will state the time of the year and, you know, the months. Basically with this water and then this thing will go bobbing up and down and telling you the time and stuff. And this is the nut fabrication machine. It basically makes nuts. And over here is the repeating catapult of dinosaurs. Um, yeah, basically it just shoots, you know, arrows. And over here is the programmable puppet show of Heron. Basically, it will program these like things to move around. It can literally move around. I saw this now. And it also could like, like see like these um puppets like going just around, moving their arms, water going around, fire. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So yeah, then over here you got pistons and cylinders, one of the first users. Then up here is the robot servant of Finland. This one will basically pour wine for you. He made a robot, can't believe that. Then over here is a cinema, basically it's like a bunch of strings and belt driven stuff, you know, it's pretty cool. He made most of these, but there's some more things you can learn inside if you come here. Huh, this place is called uh, Symposios. Symposio. Yeah, looks like a very dainty little cute little shop in the video. Okay, so we're gonna be eating here. Um, it's for traditional cuisine, so let's go. Okay, guys, so this is the inside. It's pretty nice, but pretty warm though. And this place we should we are going to sit, as you can see. So this here, guys, is a uh, saganaki. You should know what it is. Fried cheese! My daddy is ready. This here is a um, um, moussaka. You remember that one with eggplant, tomato, mince meat, and cheese, of course. Then over here we have some fries, tzatziki, and tomatoes. This is my dad's one. Oh la la. Look at this. This is a... Um, fried calamari as you can see we got some uh, tzatziki sauce there some onion here some lemon to squeeze and then here we got some uh, tomato and at the bottom here we got fries delicious okay guys so here we have a grilled chicken with fries tomatoes tzatziki onion and lemons yeah okay guys so this is our um mouth washer so um as you can see we got some watermelons just like last night yes um, pretty, 